want to find it on the website. Okay. So, hello everybody. My name is Rita. This is Young Family Taiji, section three. And um, what I'd like to do is start by warming up by doing the first section because a lot of the moves that you are going to see in the third section come from the first section. So I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna call it, and you can follow along, okay? Okay. Okay, feet shoulders width apart, head up, hips down, hands by your side. Prepare. So think up. Opening. Rotate your arms. Come up to shoulder level. And then press down. Almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail. Ward off left. Shift left. Turn right. All the weight on the right. Step and close. Shift and open. Ward off right. Shift right. Turn left. Pull left. Ward off down right. Come in. Step and close. Shift weight separate. Roll back. Turn and rotate your arms to the corner. Shift weight back. Turn to the other corner. Press. Pull in the right. Attach the left. And expand forward. Push. Square up your shoulders. Flatten your hands. Come back over a ball. Hands in front of your chest. And push forward to shoulder level. Single width. Shift back. Flatten your hands, pull and turn all the way around. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward, shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner, rotate your arms, Push off the right ball, root the right heel, and close. White crane spreads its wings. Rotate your arms. Pull down. Rotate your arms. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee. Rotate your arms. Swing. Step. Brush, strike, hands from the loot. Yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push off the left ball, root the left heel, and set. Left brush knee, rotate the right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, pull up the left hand part way, turn the left foot to the corner, hands come to the center and roll back shape, swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, shift back, right hand comes up part way, right foot turns to the corner, as hands come to the center and roll back shape. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute. Yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push out the ball of the left. Root the left heel, set. Left brush knee, right hand comes a palm up. Swing, 
stack, brush, strike, carry block and punch. Weight shifts back, left hand comes up part way, left heel turns to the corner, hands come to the center, pull down, swing, step, one line, two sides, carry, block, punch, apparent close up, yield forward, passing palm, Open the right fist, come back, hand set in front of your chest, push forward, cross hands, make the triangle with your hands, chop and turn your left foot, hands come back, as you set your right foot, hands cross at the bottom, Come up at the top, and we'll stop there. Okay, how did that go? Uh, we got a lot. <laughs> well, this is to jog your memory, since you haven't done it for a while. And uh, uh, Thomas Westcott, yes? Hi, Rita. Uh, Thomas Hi. here and Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Alicia, how do you do? Me too. So, uh, then, um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is I wanted to remind you of the right brush knee, which you are using in Embrace Tiger Return to Mountain, and the Grass the Bird's Tail which you are using also in Embrace Tiger, Return to Mount. <coughs> Excuse me. So Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain is like Grasp the Bit Sparrow's Tail in the sense that it entails a whole bunch of moves. When you say Grasp the Sparrow's Tail, it means left ward off, right ward off, roll back, press and push, okay? All that together is grasp the bird's tail. Embrace the tiger return to mountain is similar because you have this first move that goes to the corner that looks a lot like right brush knee. And you also have a press push, you know, as you did in grasp the bird's tail. Okay. So let's do a little review of Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain. All right. So starting from cross hands, let's, let's look at cross hands real quick first. Okay, when you're doing cross hands, you are crossing uh, a little bit toward the wrist of the middle of your right forearm, uh, of, your, of your forearms, okay? You're doing a double ward off. So it's not like this. It's ward off times two. Okay. And you want this open shape. You know, like when you're doing standing practice, you want that openness. You don't want to be, you know, you never want ward off to be too close to your body. Because ward off is defining your space. You're saying to your opponent, this is my space, you stay away. Okay, so with that thought, I want you to keep that open. Okay, I'm going to show you Embrace Tiger Return to Mountain one time, and then we'll review it. Okay, so from cross hands, if I'm doing the same direction as you, what happens is I'm gonna shift my weight to the right. I'm gonna turn my foot past the corner almost to straight. As I shift my weight back, I separate my arms, pull in the right, swing, step, brush, strike. 
Okay, that's just the first part. So what are the things to remember when you're doing this? Okay, if I'm doing it toward you, or let's see, let's say I do it this way. Maybe you see a little bit better. So if I'm here and I, eh, let's say I'm here, okay, and I shift my weight to the right and I turn, look at this hand. What I'm doing is I'm making a circle. Can you see that? So it's not just coming down. I'm opening a little bit as I come down. And why do I do that? I do that so that I give this hand space to swing. If I kept it tight, I'm blocking this hand from swinging. So here, I'm opening so that it can swing. Okay, so you turn a little bit inside of the corner, but not quite straight. You shift your weight back and separate. Then swing, step. What's the important part of the step? The important part of the step is to make it wide enough. When you make a bow stance to the corner, most people know if you're doing it to the straight to make it wide enough because you learned from here, here. You can see my heels are shoulder width apart. But somehow, when you're going to the corner, people do it too narrow. They don't do it wide enough so that they end up, uh, let's see if I do it from this direction. So instead of here, they're here. And then if you come back, you bump into your heel. You basically are too close together so your stability is compromised left and right. Okay, so make sure you're wide enough when you step out, okay? So that's the first point. So you're coming here, swing, step, brush, strike. Now, the rollback. When you do the rollback, what you're going to do is you're going to do this circular motion, okay? Do you remember when you went from right brush knee to left brush knee? If I'm at, I mean, from left brush knee to right brush knee, sorry. Left brush knee to right brush knee. So this is left brush knee, okay? How do I get to right brush knee? I come up part way, and then when I turn my foot, my hands come to the center in ward off shape. I mean, in roll back shape, right? So with that in mind, when I, uh, let's see, what direction am I gonna do this in? Okay, let's say I do it in this direction. Okay. So when I'm here, in order to get into that roll back shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my right hand and I'm going to circle. And then I'm in roll back shape in the center. So if I'm doing it toward you, if I came back here, in order to get to that roll back shape, I'm gonna shift my weight back and I'm going to come up and I'm in roll back shape in the center. Can you see that? So that was my transition. That circular motion is getting my body in roll back shape in the center. And this roll back is different from the roll back you did in the very beginning. How is it different? When you did uh, uh, right ward off, 
and you did rollback, what did you do? If you turned to the corner and shifted weight and turned to the other corner. So your actual movement was about 90 degrees from corner to corner, right? In this case, what you're going to do is you're actually doing the second half of that rollback. You're only going to do 45 degrees. So what happens is here, you get into the rollback shape and you're only doing 45 degrees. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to connect um, the first roll back to this roll back. Are there any questions? Does that make sense? Yes. You do the, the 45 turn, you do it as you roll your arms or you roll your arms and then turn. To you 45. roll your arms first and okay. then you turn. So think about it this way. When you are here, your arms were already rolled when you're here. All you're doing is turning, right? In the first one. Here, what you're doing is from here, you're rolling and then you're turning. It's the second half. So the hands are already set and you're turning. Okay? Are there any questions? So the um, thing that's slightly disorienting is that this is all on diagonal. Everybody's used to doing things either straight or to the side. So this is to the diagonal. And what you have to remember when you're in the diagonal is think about the orientation of your front foot. So as you're doing your press and your push, you're in the direction of your front foot. So that should help you keep from getting askew somehow. Okay. So should we try it from cross hands? And I'll do it in the same direction as you. And if you have any questions, we'll work on that. Okay, so your um, shoulder width apart cross hands. Shift weight to the right. Turn your left foot past the corner. Shift weight back. Separate your arms. Pull in the right foot. Swing, step, brush, strike, roll back. Circle your arms as you shift your weight back. Turn to the side. Press. Pull in the right. Attach the left. And expand toward the corner. Push. Square up your shoulders. Come back over a ball. And push forward. How did that feel? I'll do it in another direction. Let's see. Let's see. If I, how about if I do it this way? Okay. So uh, the disadvantage of this way is you can, can you, how about this way? I'll do it this way. Then you can see me more. Okay. So we're at cross hands. We're shifting weight to the right, turning the foot past the corner, shift the weight back, separate the arms, swing, step, brush, push, roll back. Circle the arms, come the roll back shape and turn. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, 
and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball and push up to shoulder level. Okay, how was that? Good. Okay, now the next move is also a move you already know, which is single whip, except you're doing it to the corner. Once again, I want to remind you to step out wide enough, okay? So I'm going to show you in the direction you would be doing it. So if I had started from cross hand, okay, I would end up pushing in this direction. In order to do single whip, what I would do is I shift my weight back and flatten my hands. Then the right foot is gonna turn 135 degrees to face there, okay? So it's going to come here. Then I'm going to press down, make my hook, and then step and strike. Notice I have to step out so that I have my bow stance and my uh, uh, hand facing the corner. So instead of fist under elbow, you're going to do a uh, single whip to the corner, which is easier. Uh, fist under elbow is more complicated. Okay, so are there any questions on that? So now we get to the first new move of the third, of the third section, and that is Wild Horse Parts It's Main. And I'm going to show it to you in the direction you would be doing it. And then we'll work on the bits and pieces. So you're at, sing you're at uh, diagonal single whip. What it looks like is this. You do three of these. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so the new part on this is it has a modified bow stance for the footwork. It's a zigzag step. So I'll show it to you the direction you would be doing and then I'll show it facing you. So if you were here, if you're at bow stance to the corner, you turn to inside the corner with the left foot. Then you pull in and then you're inside the corner on the right foot. Bend knee. Then you shift back and theoretically, you're supposed to open your foot a little. But since you can't open it to the corner, just put it back where it was. Okay, and come in. So facing you, if I were, let's see, uh, if I were starting here and to go here, so I would start here, here. Okay, I'm in both stands, this direction. Both stands, this direction. Okay, 
I turn in, pull in, step out. You see, I still have shoulders width between my feet, but the angle, instead of being 45 degrees, is actually more like 90 degrees. Okay. So then I step back, come in, step out, and then come in, step out. So the reason you have this kind of stepping, which actually comes from the weapons, is that it gives you a wide enough stance, but it gives you a primarily forward movement. You see what I mean? So slightly wider, forward, and it's not as direct as like the transition from Harry Block and Punch, which was one, um, one line, two sides. Okay, this is wider and you're essentially wider. And the other thing I want you to think of is that um, Wild Horse Parts is Main is essentially a large form ward off. So think about ward off. When you were almost at the bottom in the beginning and you turned, all the weight came to one side, step and close. Now, if you thought of Making it bigger, that would be wild horse. So think of it as a big ward off, left and right. Because if you think about what you did with ward off left and right, here you had ward off left. But when you do ward off right, what happens? You do this pull motion, and this hand goes down, and you come in, step, and close, and open. And if you opened it bigger, that would be wild horse. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So I basically want to emphasize that you already know this. It's just bigger. Okay? So let me do it in the same direction that you would be doing it. So if we were at a single whip to the corner, what we would be doing is we'd be shifting weight to the right, turning the left foot, Past the corner, shifting weight back, pull in the right foot, step and close, shift and turn. So this is a very big turn because when you are um, When you are coming in, okay, when you're coming in, you're looking past your elbow to the corner. And then you step and close. So uh, let's see. I have my directions messed up. Here, I turn. Then I shift my weight back pull in my right foot, and then step and close. When I step and close, I'm looking past my elbow. Then as I put my weight to the front foot, I turn 
So it's a big waist turn. And I'm looking past my palm. And this hand is at the same uh, place it would be if you were doing brush knee, right? You have your hand in front of your hip. Actually, it's the same uh, place you have it when you're doing ward off. Because ward off, well, ward off left. When you're doing ward off left, your hand is in front of your hip. Ward off right, it's below your hand. Okay? So let's do this a, a few times. And I'll go the same direction as you. So, single whip to the corner. Shift weight to the right. Turn. Left foot is past the corner. Shift weight back. Pull in the right foot. Step and close. Shift weight and open. Then the second one, you shift back and you uh, theoretically move your foot a little bit out and you're going to ward off with the left and pull with the right. As you come forward, you pull in, step and close. Turn and shift away. Shift back, forward, pull left, ward off right, come in, Step and close, turn, and open. So this turn is a wide turn. So here, when you're here and you come in, What I want you to think of is throwing a Frisbee. You're going to throw it out. Okay. So your hand is relatively flat as you come out. Can you see my palm stays up as I go out? So it's not this. It's this. Okay. So I think this is a very nice move because it's a whole body move. You get all your turning in and uh, you feel like you're really releasing energy as you move out. Okay. So let's do it a few more times. Diagonal single whip, shift right. Turn the left foot past the corner. Shift weight back, pull in the right foot. Step and close. Look past your left elbow. Turn and shift weight. Shift back. Ward off with the left, pull with the right. Shift weight, pull in, step and close, turn and shift weight. Shift back, turn, okay, turn, well, shift back, pull left, ward off right, pull in, step and close, Shift weight and open. Okay. Are there any questions? Yes. 
No. Okay. Okay. So let's do it from cross hands. Okay. We'll do it from cross hands. Embrace tiger, return to mountain, and then single whip and wild horse. Yes, so cross hands. Shift right, turn the left foot past the corner, shift weight back, separate your arms, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back, circle your arms as you shift your weight back, turn to the side, press. Pull in the right, attach the left, and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back to over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push up to shoulder level. Diagonal single whip. Shift back, flatten your hands, turn and pull. Right foot goes to the 12 o'clock. Press down, ward off left, hook hand right, step out, and strike. Wild horse parts its mane, one, shift right. Turn the left foot past the corner. Shift weight back, pull in the right foot, step and close. Turn and shift weight. Shift back. Step forward. Ward off down left. Pull right. Shift weight to the right. Pull in the left. Step and close. Turn and shift weight. Three. Shift back. Shift forward. Pull left, ward off right. Pull in the right, step and close, turn and shift weight. So if you look at how this works, once you close, it's pretty you're essentially passing this hand over the middle of your right forearm as you come up. So you're closed and then here. Okay? Questions? When you when you close you uh, your gaze is actually almost to your shoulder or your gaze is past your elbow so when you're here and i pull in i step and close i'm looking past my elbow to the back corner and I follow this hand as it moves over. Can you see that? Because this is the ward off hand. Okay, so I am following this hand. Thank you. You're not really looking at the hand, you're looking past the hand, okay? You're almost straight. Your hand, your hand and your arm should be straight. It's not rounded, it's straight. Because it's like when you did left ward off. Because when you would did left ward off, you see, that's pretty straight, right? Okay, let's do it 
a couple more times from cross hands and then we'll close class. Okay. Unless there are any questions, any questions on this move? No? Okay. Cross hands. Shift right. Turn the left toe past the corner. Shift left. Separate your arms. Pull in the right foot. Swing step. O open. Strike. Roll back. Circle your arms and end up in roll back shape as your weight goes back. Turn to the side. Press. Pull in the right. Attach the left. Press forward. Push. Square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push forward to shoulder level. Diagonal single width. Flatten your hands. Pull and turn. Right foot goes to 12 o'clock. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the right hook hand with Ward off with the left hook hand with the right, step out and strike. Wild horse parts its mane, shift right, turn the left foot past the corner, come back, pull in the right foot, step and close, looking back, turn and shift weight. Two, shift back, ward off with left, pull with the right, pull in the left foot, step and close, shift weight and turn. Three, shift back, forward, pull left, ward off right, come in, Step and close, shift weight, and open. Okay, one more time. Cross hands. Shift right, turn the left foot past the corner. Shift back, separate your arms, pull in the right foot, step and close, shift weight, strike. Roll back, rotate your arms as you shift your weight back and turn to the side. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and expand toward the corner. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Diagonal single width. Shift back, flatten your hands, pull and turn, right foot to the 12 o'clock. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, Standing ward off, step, deflect, <laughs> strike to the corner. Wild horse parts its mane, shift right. Turn the left foot past the corner. Pull in the left, right foot, step and close, turn and shift weight. Shift back, ward off, down with the left. Pull with the right, shift forward, pull in the left, step and close, turn and shift weight. Three, shift back, ward off right, pull with the left, pull in the right foot, step and close, turn and shift weight. Okay. 
How did that go? Are there any questions? All right. So uh, actually we have a little bit of time. So what I'm going to show you is the transition into grass with Barrett's tail from the end of this move. Okay, so when you're at the end of um, wild horse parts, it's made. What I want you to do is I want you to shift weight back. Turn your right foot toward the corner. Then you're going to go in the grass with Barrett's tail. So you're going to shift weight to the right. One hand up, one hand down. Pull in. Step and close. Left ward up. And then you'll go into the regular grass with Barrett's tail. So let's do that transition a couple of times so that you can, you're at the third wild horse parts it's made. You're gonna shift your weight back. You're going to turn your right foot to the corner. Then you're going to shift your weight back and you have one hand up, one hand down. Step out, out and close and left water. And then you're going to do the rest of grass, the bird's tail. Okay? How did that feel? It's just a weight shift. And actually, it's a little bit like rollback. If you think about how the weight shifting works, you're here. Then you're going to shift your weight back and turn. Pull in, step out. So, so you're you'll be facing twelve o'clock when you do your left warm up. Mm hmm You're facing twelve o'clock. So, so what what happens is at the I'm doing it the same direction you would be doing it at the end of the last uh, wild horse. You. That's 12 o'clock. So you're going to shift back, turn, shift, pull in, step out. So you have step and close, turn and shift away. Just like the opening of Grass the Bird's Tail. But in, in the, the same direction? Yeah, okay, the direction is clear. In the opening, I don't remember if, I think it was you, you said you don't pull your left leg. You do not pull in your right, you do not pull in your foot in the opening one. Why do you do it in this one? So what happens is when you're here and you're here, because your feet are far apart, you pull in and step out. When you started it at the beginning, your feet were pretty close together. So yeah. all you had to do was move this foot forward, right? Okay. But here, because your feet are further apart, you pull in. So the rule of thumb is that if your feet are further than shoulders width apart, you pull in. Okay. Essentially, you stabilize yourself and then you step out. Not that you stand up though. You stabilize yourself, but you keep your leg bent. Because remember that, so when you did opening, opening sets your pace. When you do left ward off, Left ward off sets your height. The rest of the form should be at this height, except when you stand up. So if you're going to kick or something like that, then you're going to stand up, right? 
but otherwise you should be at the same height. Okay. Are there any other questions? So would you mind, would you mind the is section one again? Yeah, let's do section one again. Okay. So feet shoulder width apart. Head up. Hips down. Hands by your side. Okay. Prepare. Open it. Rotate your arms. Hands come up to shoulder level and press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left. Turn right. All the way to the right. One hand up, one hand down. Step and close. Turn and separate. Ward off right. Shift right. Turn the left toe to the corner. Pull left, ward off down right. Pull in, step and close. Shift weight and separate. Roll back. Rotate your arms and your waist to the corner. Shift weight back as you turn to the other corner. Press. Pull in the right, attach the left, and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest. Push forward to shoulder level. Single whip, shift back, flatten your hands. Pull and turn all the way around. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward, shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, circle your arms, push off the right ball, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands. Pull down. Shift the weight all the way to the back. Circle your arms. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee. Turn your hands. Swing. Step. Brush. Strike. Hands drum salute. Yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left. Circle, root the heel. Right, uh, left brush knee. Turn the right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee. Shift back, left hand comes up part way, turn the left toe to the corner, hands come to the center and roll back shape, swing, step, brush, strike, left brush knee. Shift back, hand comes up part way, turn the right toe to the corner, hands come and roll back shape to the center, Swing, step, brush, strike, hand strum salute, yield forward, right foot comes in, push off the ball of the front foot, root the heel of the left foot, and set. Left brush knee, turn the right palm up, swing, step. Brush, strike, parry, block, and punch. Shift back. Left hand comes up part way. Turn the left foot to the corner. Hands come to the center. Pull down, make your fist. 
swing, step one line, two sides, parry, block, punch. A parent close up, heels forward, passing palm, open the right palm, come back, hands in front of the chest, push forward, cross hands, make a triangle with your hands, chop, shift weight to the left hands, face the back, cross and step, cross up. And we might as well do embrace tiger, right? Embrace tiger, return to mountain, shift right, separate and shift left, swing, step, brush, strike, roll back, circle, shift back, turn to the side, press, pull in the right, attach the left, press forward, Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, pull back over a ball and push. Diagonal single whip, shift back, flatten your hands, turn, push down, ward off left, hook hand right, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Parting the wild horse's mane. One, shift right, turn the left foot past the corner, <clears throat> pull in the right foot, step and close, shift and turn. Two, shift back, ward off left, pull right, pull in the right left foot, step and close, Turn and shift weight. Shift back. Pull left, ward off right. Pull in the right foot. Step and close. Turn and shift weight. Shift back. Turn on the pivot on the heel of the right foot to the corner. Shift weight to the right, one hand up, one hand down, pull in the left foot, step and close, shift and left ward off. Okay, so next week will be Fair Lady and it's one of the more complicated moves, primarily because it's to the corners. So it's an orientation problem for some people, but we'll work on it. So thank you very much for coming and I'll see you next week.